an Eyewitness News special presentation. Kick off to a Long Island summer. It's Memorial Day weekend, the unofficial start of summer. The sunshine, the surf, the sand. Long Island has all that and so much more. The beaches, best in the world. Jones Beach, can't wait to open. Breathtaking views, fantastic food, live entertainment, and this holiday weekend, the main event. The Beth Page Air Show at Jones Beach. The G-forces are crazy. It's a great family tradition that we do every year. Get ready, we take you along for a thrill ride with the Air Force Thunderbirds. Good evening, I am David Navarro. And I'm Sandra Bookman, and we are so happy to be here at Jones Beach with the Beth Page Air Show. I cannot believe it. 10 years we have been bringing you all the fun and excitement here. What a beautiful day we have today. It's just been amazing. But the most important thing is this is a day for us to honor all the military members who have paid the ultimate sacrifice for our country. And also here helping us do that, meteorologist Brittany Bell and Long Island reporter Shante Lance. They are here to help us help you kick off your Long Island summer. You don't have to have a car to experience summer on Long Island. We ride the Long Island Railroad to Huntington Station where there's no shortage of activities for every age. Plus, preserving Long Island for future generations. We'll show you the work to keep the Long Island Sound healthy. And that's something. Well, from the rails, we now take you to the seas. And to say the Long Island Sound is a lifeblood for the region is really an understatement. Yeah, and that's why it is so important to keep it flowing and to keep it as pristine as possible. And there are several newly funded research projects designed to do just that. The Long Island Sound covers nearly 1,200 square miles, including 600 miles of coastline. Boating, fishing, swimming, and tourism generate nearly $10 billion annually for the regional economy. We look out and we see how amazing it is here, but you don't realize just how much um, goes into caring for it. Rebecca Shuford is the director of the New York Sea Grant program, which is all about keeping the waterway vital and healthy. NYSG, along with Connecticut Sea Grant and the USGPA, recently awarded $6.3 million to nine research projects studying Long Island Sound water quality, public beaches, and marine life. It's not only a problem of getting warmer, but that we're not seeing those cooler temperatures as well. Stony Brook University researcher Robin Lanier is working on a study evaluating the effects of shifting conditions in the Long Island Sound due to climate change and the impact on cold and warm adapted fish species. So if we can try to make some predictions about the rate at which we might see some of these changes happening, or particular species to look out for, we, we can try to sort of get a head start on mitigating some of these issues. Anil Yizaji is co-leader of another project looking into equitable public access to the waterfront. The focus, providing on-demand shuttles for disadvantaged communities. Most of the time, the people who have limitations or restrictions of access. It goes back to redlining, like it, it has, you know, all this, um, some racial tones to it or class, however you want to see it. Whether it's studying what leads to harmful algal blooms or the impact of warming on salt marshes, the end goal here is the same. That's all part of providing information and knowledge to help us manage and conserve and sustain these resources. Scientists say the good news is these days the sound is healthier than it's been in years. My goodness. I almost didn't hear that with the flight behind us. Well. That's because it's a lot of fun here and we're just getting started to our kickoff to a Long Island summer. Awesome. And that does it for our kickoff to a Long Island summer. Cue the 